Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I will give you a tour to the engine room, the new type of vessel, the bulk type of vessel, man BMW main engine. So some familiarization of machineries in the engine room. So let's go and proceed to engine room. So yeah, samahan nyo ako sa engine room. Masel Tyron. By the way, thanks for uh, subscribing my channel at sa mga patuloy na nanonood ng aking vlog. For visitor use, wear helmet and air defender. So it's very important for your safety. So before entering to the engine room, you must wear helmet. This is the engine store and the engine room entrance door so you can see the signage it's very very important and it's the restricted area so think of safety caution keep safe distance from machine they may start without warning okay let's go inside this engine room here's the steam piping where in the dumping it is connected and here's the pump for the lp so this is the entrance going down to the engine room and going up to the boiler. So this is the panel of the main engine. So here's the LP freshwater expansion pump. We have here this LP cooling freshwater pump. And this pump is uh, used to circulate the LP freshwater. And the pressure gauges are monitored the suction and the pressure gauges of this pump. So here is the LT coolers so from the pump is going here and the LT water passes the cooler which is cooled by sea water. So then we are here this loop oil backwash filter and the main engine loop oil is being filtered here and before passing to the main engine loop oil system it will go to the loop oil coolers and here is our loop oil coolers and uh, cooled by the LT press water system emergency air compressor the air compressor can be used during emergency using the power from emergency generator and here we have this main air compressor uh, this compressor produces air from using for starting the engine etc it supplied air to the control air system and other works required for air this is the panel board for the air compressors Here's our air distributor tank or air bottle. The air from the compressor is stored in this tank. And here's so the working air distributor and this uh, control air distributor. And we have this working air compressor. So the compressor is used for the deck air system like cheating, etc. The air compressor motor. So here we go back to the main engine top view and we have here the spare piston and cylinder liner and here is the exhaust manifold going to the panel this is the ship's main engine so this is the oily builds water separator our bilges pump here. The bilge water from the bilge tank will pass into the PWS oil separator through the 15 ppm monitor before it pumps out overboard. And here is the 15 ppm monitor. So, this is the panel of OWS and the back side of OWS, the cooler and the PV bulb. So we will pass here to the bilge and GS pump. And this big ballast pump we have these two ballast pump on board this is very important uh, during cargo operation so we have to keep it in excellent condition especially during cargo operation in port high sea chest filter emergency builds valve 
We are here in the bottom aft side of the engine room where you can see the shelf connected to the main engine and the outside is propeller. Generator and main engine top me. So we have here the main engine, the other angle, the top me and for the upper side. So you can see the pipings on the upper side. And here is the three generators. So this is the one that is uh, generate power to run the ship. So here we go to the workshop, engine room workshop where all these uh, tools are being kept. So this is where we store the tools, the spanner, etc. And here, is, uh, here the drilling machine, the workshop table, the device, and also we have this the lathe. Machine. And we have the safety signage, so you have to follow the safety signage to avoid accident on board. And we move forward to this uh, spare parts room where we stored all the engine spare parts. So here in its box. We have one more spare parts room down below. And we will show you here the welding and grinding machine room. So here's the fitters in the welding. And also this main engine and oxygen engine fuel valve testing room. So here you can see the fuel valve and the equipment used for pressure testing of this fuel valve. Main engine, exhaust bulb, and cylinder head with condition spare. Electrical workshop. So this is where the electrician is doing some jobs. And the electrical spares are being kept here. So this is the main engine, cylinder head. This is our generator. The Dusan Man diesel engine, six cylinder with the 780 kilowatt. So this gives a power to the full vessel. We have three generators on board. So usually we are using two generator during cargo operation and maneuver. But at sea we are only using one generator. Revision compressor, auxiliary boiler, for safety, do not stand in this area during firing this boiler. So this boiler introduces steam that used for heating the fuel tanks and other machineries like in the jacket. Fresh water generator. This machine will produce fresh water on the we convert seawater into fresh water. This is for our board usage. So here we have this jacket cooling pressure pump for the main engine. And here the special tools for main engine. These are the tools used for main engine during overhauling and other major jobs. A hydraulic pump for remote control bulbs. This is the machine that opens and close the bulbs remotely, like the ballast bulb, fuel tanks. Purify room. So here is the fuel and loop oil purifiers. And this location of main engine fuel oil module. And we have also the auxiliary engine fuel oil module or generator fuel oil module where the pumps are uh, controlled here uh, like the supply and booster pump and also the temperatures so here we purify the fuel fuel tanks and here is the HFO 
purifier control monitor. Main engine auxiliary blower control panel. Main seawater pump. Number one, two, and three. So here is the pressure gauges. Fire and GS pump. Sludge pump used for transferring sludge to various sludge tank. EWTS filter. Irma first BWTS ballast control monitor. So this, this equipment is newly installed last December 2020 due to the new ballast regulation. So it is a mandatory requirements. Number chemicals that inject to the ballast water system. All ballast water is chemically treated when pumping in and out of the world. Therefore, this ship is in compliance with the ballast regulation. Main engine, forward part. Main engine, crankcase door. Up side of the main engine. Builds pump. Pumping of bilges from bilge well to build tank. Telephone for engine side communication. This is used during engine side maneuvering. Alpha loop lubricating pump. So this is lubricating the cylinder liner. The forward side here is the scavenging manifold of main engine. At this area are the pneumatic controls, pressure switches, solenoid valve that uh, connected to the main engine, and the supplied control air to the main engine. From the top, bottom, upside of engine room. Emergency control box. So this is the engine side that uh, we do the maneuvering during a you know, remote failure in the control room or if required. Main engine exhaust manifold. Cascade tank. So here is the cascade tank and the atmospheric condenser where the return of steam is going here and here is the control of the air pressure spare parts for all pumps on board and here is the sewage treatment plant main engine jacket cooling water pipe and exhaust manifold one of our very important part of our job is to take around the engine room, machine use, main engine. And we have to make sure that all are within the normal limits or within the normal parameters the pumps are running normally without any abnormalities. The level gauges. And we have to take a, a look on all these motors. If it is okay, this means water pump. And you have to check this uh, Irma ballast control. Make sure that everything is okay. There is no abnormalities. This is the new regulation nowadays for the ballasting. So other ships are still not uh, implementing this. to make sure that all are in good condition. Checking of oil mist detector and main engine auxiliary blower. 
make sure to check this air cooler differential pressure of this main engine. Do the inspection also for this purifier control and try to check the parameters. Do the discharging. Check the temperature if it's okay. The steering gear room. So in a steering gear room, you have to make sure that you check the communication equipment. The auxiliary engine is tracking box where we can see all the parameters during uh, operation of the burner. And this is a six cylinder with about 780 kilowatt. Incinerator, this is where we burn the garbage and the slats. However, plastic is not allowed to burn in this type of incinerator. The pressure gauges of this incinerator. Engine control room. So in this area here, we have to monitor the parameters, the running machineries, and the gauges. So all are here. The maneuvering side. All the controls of the whole ship and engine are located here so this is the important part of the vessel also the panel board for the, this generator where we can monitor the load frequency etc Control room. Okay, so the engine control room. 